Lemon Amiga present. A play giant video review. Sit back and enjoy the show. to another Lemon Amiga Play Guide and Review. This time we'll be checking out The Adventures of Willy Beamish, developed and published by Dynamics in 1992. On the introduction we can see the guys involved with making the game, and some of these were ex-Disney employees as well, so some of these names, some of these animators actually came from Disney, and you can see all the other programmers, the lead programmer, Louis McCready, and no idea what the games that he created, and Mark Brenneman still very much involved with the computer business. begins with a nice introduction theme which plays at full speed because we are playing this on an NCSC or 30 computer. By pressing the left mouse button or if you wait for this to finish you will get some options where we can continue or jump to the introduction or jump to the game itself or load up a game. So let's check out that introduction and that takes some time loading off the disc version. the game it's our very last day in school and we are attending the very last assembly where our head teacher is giving his very last lecture at Carbuncle and all we have to do is to watch this and see what happens. Beginning of the game, the game introduces us to our companion Horny, who is a horned toad who attacks and grabs the wig of our headmaster. But whilst we are still loitering in school, we are daydreaming about the Nintori Championship, and you can see some nice animation and some graphics of this daydream sequence before the game even begins. And here we are, we play as Willy Beamish, who is in this case dreaming about maybe competing against Bruce Lee it looks like on the Nintari and they had to use Nintari of course to get around the Nintendo Atari kind of logo franchise. When we eventually stop dreaming, we'll wake up in school, and all we have to do in school is to wait patiently for this day to finish, and that is the end of the day, and we can go home. But there is a few things that we can do whilst we are in school, and so let's get around to doing those things in this play guide. And there is more than one option available, and sometimes it's a good option, sometimes it's a moderate option which won't do anything, and sometimes it's a bad option which will get us into trouble. And so it's a matter of choosing the option that you feel is correct, and sometimes you can get through to the end of the game even if we are in trouble, but if we get into too much trouble during the game, we'll be booted out of it, and we'll be booted out to the boot camp, and all our hair will be shaved off, and we'll be 
shoved into the army. So at the moment, we are dealing with a staunch teacher, which reminds me of every teacher which I had in school. And you can see a classroom there, a typical American classroom, where the kids are trying to learn something. So the teacher in this case is very easy because she eventually falls asleep, which gives us time to mess around. It's a pity that the school only appears for three or four screens in the game, and so we won't be spending too much time here. I think when I first saw the game, I thought the entire thing was it based in school, like school days on the ZX Spectrum, but it isn't. And so you can see some extra options in the game. We can speed up the time to get to the end of school, and we can also turn on and off the music as well, and so... We can also check out some help, but there is no help available. And I think we can also rewind if we make a mistake. In this game, we play as more or less an animated adventure or an interactive cartoon and in this game you're supposed to read things and figure it out because there is a story going on and it's not just a series of stills like this and eventually once the game starts we will have complete control of this character who looks suspiciously like Marty McFly from the Back to the Future movies and so these are caricatures of characters that we all faced in real life so Willie is attempting now to, well, he has a stomach ache, and we can feign injury in this game. That means we get to see the nurse, and that gives us some more great animation and a cutscene which wouldn't happen ordinarily if you didn't select that question. If we feign a stomach ache, we might be sent off to the hospital and that might be game over, so let's not continue down that avenue and let's try to play a little straighter from now on. We can click on the characters, but if we click on the desk in front of us, we can see a number of items and we can see two chalk pens and also a board and if we use the white one on the board that will give us a whole pass and we will definitely need that for later on. Let's put that in our backpack and click on exit and with the whole pass it allows us to escape this room once this teacher eventually falls asleep. Just like many games, this game plays out in real time, and so adventurers who want to just get on with the story will be delayed at this point, but let's use this time to escape towards the door, and hopefully escape into the hall. In the hall, we find someone watching out, but we have the hall pass. Let's make a beeline for the exit, and we are caught, unfortunately. And Coach Belts, unfortunately, will ask us for that hall pass. So, at this point, we can talk our way out of the problem, or simply show him the item. We can click on our inventory by clicking on the backpack on our character and that will bring it up. We can also click on a magnifying glass, of course, which will show us some information about that thing. So clicking on the backpack, we see we have a hall pass. We also have a yo-yo. We also have the headmaster's wig and also uh, a Game Boy and our frog. So let's use that hall pass and by moving back to the screen, we can then drop it on that character.
In the conveniences, we find another bully who is demanding our attention. So after a few more cutscenes, we'll get to the question and answers bit. And in this case, we can talk our way out of trouble, of course, but also we can also give him an item. We can get into major trouble at this point, but we can also carry on the conversation a bit, and in this case, well, unfortunately it leads back in the circle, and this guy is still demanding something before he will let us go. And I've certainly been bullied at school, and being bullied at school is not a very nice experience, especially when you have to get out of it. In this case, I put up with it for many years, and it's not something that I would definitely say it is a fun part of school. Let's give him the Game Boy and hopefully by, well in this case it's a difficult situation, we have to click on the Game Boy and then holding down the mouse button that will return us back to that screen where we can drop the item on the character. After some disc loading, and this game came on an amazing 12 discs, we find ourselves in the hallway, and that means we can sneak out of school. And we need to do that because uh, one of our exam results has been mailed over to our house and we need to intercept it. Outside of our house we can get into that mailbox and intercept the letter and you can see it's already hanging out there and so we can keep our results from our father when he returns home or we can leave it where it is and so this is our house and we can also walk in the door but if we decide to grab the letter and well in this case we have decided to leave the letter behind and that means our Grandfather will appear as a ghost and say how proud he is of us for leaving those exam results, however bad they were, in the mailbox. Our ghostly grandfather will appear at different points in the game to help us, and so this game really does have a few friends, including our faithful dog. If we take care of the dog and feed him and take him for walks, then he'll eventually help us later in the game, but if we ignore the dog, then he won't do that. So in this game you have to go for the long and the laborious chores, and this game is split into three or four different aims. The first aim of course is to not get yourself put into the army, the second aim is to win a competition, the Nintari competition, and another aim, as we shall see, is to get everything together to beat the whole town and to become a hero. In this household we have a mum and we also have a little sister and also a big sister and a father. Brianna is our small sister or however you pronounce that name and Brianna is definitely a troublemaker and we'll have to help her if we want to stay on the good side of our parents.
To stay on the good side of our parents, we'll have to do the washing up and chop up the vegetables. And I remember doing this as a kid back in the day and having to have a stool and a seat just to reach the sink. And you have to be careful because that has a sharp knife and you could hurt yourself pretty badly. So let's see what I did with this experience. But before we can do that, we are intercepted by Brianna. And now we are pushing our little sister on the swings. And this may seem an innocent enough event, but there are many events in this game which will instantly game over for us. And Brianna, in this case, wants to be pushed higher. And I think at certain checkpoints, we can press the F5 key and that will bring up the save options. And it's usually a very good idea to save the game before we get into any kind of trouble. I'm trying to press it now, but we can't do it during the cutscenes. We can only do it when it's in our favour to choose an option. Let's save up our progress. Let's call it the start, and now that we're at home, this really is the start of the game, and in this play guide, I'll be taking you through, well, one and a half days, the Friday and the Saturday, so that you can play the game, and then it starts properly after that, and then you can play on from there. At the moment, I've decided to launch my sister into space. wrong choice we can always restore and luckily we managed to save our game before the worst happened and so in this game you have to watch out and when you are chopping the vegetables of course you could bleed to death in the next section and then it's on to supper time so in this game you have to watch out that you don't take too many risks otherwise you'll have to load it up all over again Chop the carrots. I'll just mention that this review is dedicated to the Shot 97 channel over in America. I wouldn't be playing this game in NTSC right now if it wasn't for Shot 97, and he really has given me lots of hints and tips and advice about playing American games, which I really didn't know back in the 1990s when I was playing them. And so most players and most magazine reviews only got to see the PAL version and the disc version of that. And because I'm using a hard drive, it loads much, much quicker. Vegetables means we can make a quick exit upstairs and upstairs we can find some more adventures and if we turn right here that will lead into what I call the living room, the main room and the kitchen is of course there and we can loop around to the kitchen from that main room 
And upstairs we find a number of rooms. This is absolutely not similar to my childhood. This is an American household. Maybe Shot 97 is familiar with multi-rooms. But in all these different rooms we will find the bathroom. And in here we can also fix up our bleeding fingers. By pressing the tab key we can move around to all the different things that we can select in the room and the tab key in this case has revealed this cupboard which reveals the germ away and the plaster and we will have to use the germ away first of all and then use the plaster. If we just use the plaster maybe it will go septic later on in the game and so early decisions like this really can make a big difference. Clicking, we can also bring up a magnifying glass and that will tell us about some items that we can find and that saves us pointing and clicking on things. Unfortunately anything which isn't highlighted by the tab key isn't useful for us and so even though we can look at these things the magnifying glass will run clear over an item that we can investigate. Most things are just for background only and they didn't have to put all of this background detail into the game some of which may or may not have a bearing on the game later on. Whilst we are upstairs we can also check out the other rooms and we'll have to know which room is which in this game and so let's check out our big sister's room which is full of rock hits and you can see Tiffany our big sister loves rock and roll this is a picture of our favorite artist and so you can also find her diary in here that we can also borrow and of course our ghost grandfather will appear to say don't read your big sister's diary otherwise you'll get into trouble and of course well so what I'm gonna read it anyway and we can also check out on the floor that's her weigh scales and by adjusting her weigh scales by a number of kilograms we can give her the shock of her life when she actually steps on them and thinks she's actually heavier than she is. Back in the day when I was five or six years old I actually did use this trick but it didn't catch out my mother it actually caught out her boyfriend and he thought he was much heavier than he really was. fun to check out these rooms I will definitely leave most of this up to your investigation and so for this moment let's leave this area and walk downstairs and this game runs more or less well not in real time but it runs to a time and at various times things will happen in the game was a PC CD-ROM edition of this very title which included voice speech sound effects and also a Sega CD version as well which was reviewed by AVGN many many moons ago and he didn't think much of it because he didn't get out of the school and so we can check out the phone messages and also intercept messages from friends and enemies to save them being heard from our father but I'm not quite sure whether all the messages are erased once we've heard them on the answering machine. You can also find out information as well and using that information maybe that can be used forwards but this is just the Friday and there's still the Saturday, the Sunday and the Monday in this game none of which I'll be showing you, we'll be just going through the Friday and Saturday morning just to check out the game and I think part of the fear factor of some of these games is simply getting over how to play them
and save up our progress at this point and let's save it up as kitchen and this point really doesn't need much saving up but again it's wise to do that just in case we launch someone else into space and get booted off to the army. We can also check out our dog tags and our chain, which as far as I know does absolutely nothing in the game and maybe the yo-yo can be used a little bit later on and of course we can also check out our big sister's diary as well and Horny the frog, well Horny will come in useful a little bit later and pretty shortly in fact because one of the options is to use Horny to get ourselves access to our favourite contraption which is our computer but by being bad in the game, we will shortly be locked out of our computer and that's unfortunate because that means we'll have to pull a few acts in order to get access to our computer back. In the meantime, whilst our mother cooks dinner, we can also check out the loft or the attic or the upper area, whatever you call that. And of course, our grandfather is already waiting for us. this room we'll also find many ancient items and objects and among them is our father's old railway and so if we use the model railway unfortunately we'll get another warning from our grandfather and yes you guessed it if we race these things around the track at full speed they'll crash and we'll get into trouble so what we have to do is not cross the streams we'll just have to play nicely with this and you can see speed is slow and there's also fast speed and there is an on off as well and we can also change the points with the change points button. There isn't much we can do at this point except for watch the trains going round on that mini map and well you can crash them together as well but in this case we won't be doing any of that because crashing trains together well, that will get us probably into more trouble we can handle but we do have actually a trouble meter and that trouble meter will go up and down it takes a few knocks to get us booted out of the house and into the army so that's good news at this point Strange that we should know our father as Gordon, but we do know everybody on first name terms in this family, so we know father as Gordon, and I'm trying to read Tiffany's diary at this point, but I can't seem to do that, and clicking on that simply reveals that it's a diary. But maybe we can investigate that a little bit later on, you can see there's plenty of room in there for extra items, but dinner is now ready, so let's now run back down the stairs and let's join everybody for dinner. We get to the dinner area from the main room and we can also get to it from the kitchen as well.
find ourselves in the middle of the usual family argument, and of course settling family arguments is another way to make or break progress, and during these you may notice the dog is patiently waiting, if we give the dog some food, then hopefully that will ally the dog to our son. Is our father and he doesn't have some very good news for us because unfortunately he's been sacked and that's why he looks pretty long at the moment because he's gonna have to break that news to his family and it's always a very difficult time when you leave a job as I've done recently it's a very very hard experience and you feel pretty isolated until you get yourself some more cash So hear what the people are thinking as well, just like a cartoon. So this interactive cartoon, drawn by ex-Disney employees no less, is something to sit through and not to pace through like a Monkey Island game. Because in this game it runs at its own speed and yes of course you can flick straight through all of these arguments by pressing that left mouse button, but of course reading these things can inspire some in-jokes and some jokes as well. Some of those are funny and some of the magazine reviewers said that none of the jokes were funny. I disagree, I think this appeals to mostly an American audience and playing this on an author 30 NTSC screen, full screen like this, on a hard drive so there's no disc swapping means this game is playable and it's fun if you like these slower paced adventure games. It's also great fun to see the TV changing and we'll also get to see TV adverts periodically and it makes it feel like a real cartoon movie. Result of our report card and we got a C, we didn't intercept that, so our father is unappreciative of our efforts. It's only a C and not an F, so I can't see his problem, but a C in this family, of course, is below par. Because we didn't set that mail, we got a C, now our Nimtari machine has been locked under lock and key, and the key in this case is not available to get, because it's in the hands of Tiffany. Some of these news reports may seem a little bit trivial, but some of these news reports also reveal some vital information. In this case, it's Slam Dunk Cola, and Slam Dunk Cola has an ingredient in there, a sweetener called Toot Sweet, and Toot Sweet is a very, very new ingredient onto the American market and it's been untested. Toot Sweet is a major, major important part of this game and you'll be getting to know all about the Toot Sweet Sugar Alternative Manufacturing Company as you play through it.
here we've decided to give the dog some treats and hopefully with the dog satisfied that'll be great but if anybody notices we'll also get into trouble and so it's a balance and a trade-off in some points of this game you can't win just like in real life you simply cannot win Back at the Toot Sweet factory, we'll see the evil geniuses at work for the very first time, relaxing in a jacuzzi. And Toot Sweet, the Empire, is definitely under threat by Willie Beamish. Like in the living room, we can choose to investigate the living room or we can get a job from our father. We can also take the dog for another walk. And so you can also check out the portrait of our grandfather as well. You can see all of these scenes have been hand drawn and then somehow scanned into the computer or maybe even hand drawn on a computer because maybe back then scanners were an original thing. With our father, we get the opportunity to mow the lawn, and mowing the lawn is a chore that many kids had to do if they had a lawn. And so, in this case, we need a loan of money, so let's mow the lawn and get some cash. take a lot of cash to get ourselves the entry to the Nintari competition and for that we'll need to practice and we'll need to train up our frog as well to beat up the other guy with our skills. to do in the house at this stage this is still the Friday and it's Friday evening and we haven't even explored all of the house yet but in the evening it does give us some time to explore this area and there isn't much to pick up but what we do really need to pick up is the key to our Nintari and Tiffany has that she's currently taking a dip in the bathtub and maybe we can help her out and siphon off the key whilst we are doing it sister wants something so all we need to do is pick it up and throw it and so let's throw in the shampoo and conditioner and hopefully she will be quite happy with that Conditioner has not led us to the key. But what we can do is to walk straight in there, and there are at least two ways to wrestle the key. One of those is to talk it out of her, maybe through blackmail, and the other one is to simply lob in our friend Horny into the water. She will freak out and we can grab the key. Our 
Alistair isn't very amused by these antics, but we can also take the key at this point. She will offer no resistance whatsoever as long as she's being pinned down by the frog. Our key safely in our backpack, we can now exit. And so, well, let's take a look into our little sister's room first of all, just to check that out. And oh, she's fallen down. So, we have a chance now to get some more merit points. Let's help her up. And so, if we help her up, it should even give us a visual representation of our merit points that we've accumulated so far. See the trouble meter is going down and as long as we stay out of trouble that's good and that's what I like to call the merit meter and so as long as that is low down then we can avoid getting sent off to that army and there are very few ways to reduce your trouble meter in this game that's one of them and very 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 many more to increase that trouble meter until it ejects itself out of the top. room we find all the models you can shake a stick at including the Enterprise and an F-16 and of course Scalex trick and a few monster trucks as well and in the corner you may notice a computer screen which looks like it has a built-in joystick and that's our Nintari. I had one of those model planes that you stick together with glue and I only managed to construct one of them but I did put all the stickers on it and that was an FA-18 interceptor which is the very first game that I played when I got my Amiga. Into it, we can practice for a competition on a game that looks a bit like Mario or Zool. And so, cutscenes of video games are in this adventure. Unfortunately, there are no mini games to play and train us up manually. You can see, it's 1958, and so it's almost time for bed, but not quite. And so, we still have time for another game of the Nintari. a lot of practice if you're going to beat the Nintari competition and there's also the frog competition as well we'll need to jump our way through that one so we need quite a lot of money by pressing the tab key we can also detect a jar and I think that contains a jar of flies why would you need a jar of flies well frogs eat flies and you're gonna need that to feed the frog Now 8.40 and we have the jar of flies and the frog and virtually everything that I can collect on the very first day of this game or the first evening. We haven't even got to Saturday morning yet so let's march through the game and let's get to Saturday morning because that's when the action really starts and that's when the opportunities start and that's when this play guide stops.
Congratulations, you've just made it through the very first day of Willy Beamish. That wasn't very hard at all. We got a cut on our finger and we did a few chores. So now it's time to check out the bigger game in the second day. Day, it brings another set of questions and of course taking the easy way out in this case is a better option but if you don't know how to play the game and how to complete it maybe you can choose a few of the other options as well and check out all of the side quests and all of the diversions and all the things that will get us in trouble and kill Father is looking through the wanted ads to try and get a new job and it won't be long before he secures a job and I wonder if he can guess whereabouts which company he secures his second job. Of course wanted public relations guy and it must be at the Toot Sweet factory because our father is definitely a guy to infiltrate the factory ahead of us so that we can take down the factory later on. On Monday, which is the very last day in the game, Toot Sweet has also offered a Jumping Frog competition. This is the 25th annual Jumping Frog contest and we will get to earn some major money which is 25,000 which is precisely the amount of money that we need to enter the Nintendo competition. Sorry, Nintari. So if we win the frog contest, we can enter the Nintari contest and hopefully we'll have that cash. Come on down and enter your frog in the 25th annual frog competition. Taking a look at the scores for this game, unfortunately some of the lowest scores went to the popular magazines, Amiga Format only awarded this 44%, CU Amiga gave this 48% and Amiga Joker was the lowest score with 42%. They all said the disc swapping crippled the game, the price of 34.99 was too high and the jokes were not funny.
play this on a hard drive, then the game is fast to load in with your 30, it's fast to play in, and of course these days you can download a copy of this for free. Taking a look at the higher scores, Amiga Power gave this 69%, Lamin Amiga gave this 74%, Amiga Computing gave this 78%, and Generation 4 gave it 84%, the One gave it 84% and Amiga Action gave it 91% and an Amiga Action Accolade and Dato Magazine gave this 96% and a Smash Hit Award. Maybe they were playing this on an NCSC computer, maybe they were playing this on a hard drive, but that gives this game the average score of only 7 out of 10 because of those low scores from Amiga Format and C Omega. I think this game is paced very well, unfortunately we'll have to do all the boring chores before we get to the action a bit later on, but we get to enter into a number of contests eventually, once we gain the funds to enter them by doing all those small jobs, and fortunately we get a mega epic storyline later on with various contests and also taking down the Toot Sweet Empire. So it really has got a lot going on for it, because if you make the wrong choice, you'll die. But it's a game that I really do appreciate, and it's one that I never really appreciated back in the day.